Dr. Angelo Belcastro worked with the York Youth Connection Camp this summer with a pilot program titled Kin Kids as a part of his larger research project which aims to increase physical activity in young children. It's known today that uh, physical, physical inactivity is a risk factor for children and particularly in developing chronic diseases and other, other sort of uh, conditions when they're adults. The intent of the program is to develop the most optimal high energy expenditure games that can be used in elementary school physical education curricula in the GTA region. According to Val Castro, the current physical education curriculum is positioned from a higher order perspective where children learn basic skills in games and progress to more complex skills in games. There is therefore a requirement for instruction and for students to be able to provide a competency or skill level in the curriculum. However, not all children are equal in competency and this may lead to a hesitation to engage in physical activity as children age. What this does, what this guided active play program does, it allows to fill those gaps because what we're actually employing are, are games that children would normally play anyway. It's not, you don't have to be able to hit a ball far or throw a ball far or kick a ball into a goal. It's a matter of just cooperating, having fun, and being socially interactive with, with, your, with your peers in a non-competitive way. Along with his team of first-year kinesiology students, Dr. Belcastro engaged campers at the York Youth Connection Camp in these games in order to develop a model of classification based on energy expenditure and intensity. The intent is to take those optimal games and implement them as a part of the daily school curriculum. Belcastro quantifies children's physical activities by a device known as an accelerometer. The accelerometer is worn around the waist and measures energy expenditure over time. The device allows Belcastro and his team to measure the intensity of the games that the children are playing and therefore measures which game is most optimal. One of the, one of the uh, very important parts of the research that we're doing uh, in using the accelerometers is that each accelerometer has to be uh, validated and calibrated for energy expenditure and the volume and the effort of the, uh, of the exercise. So we, we, we calibrate these in a laboratory setting at York in the, in the School of Kinesiology and Health Science and we um, uh, have, to have the children um, do a uh, protocol that involves a walk, uh, a jog and, and a run over different speeds and we actually, while they're doing that, we use the accelerometer to measure their level of activity on the treadmill but we also have uh, the ability to collect their expired gas so we know how much oxygen they're taking in and how much carbon dioxide they're putting out. We know how hard their heart rate is. is. And we also then, uh, knowing, that, uh, knowing that information, we can then use that to calculate or determine the energy expenditure from the activity levels found in the accelerometer whether they're out in the field or in a gym or wherever have you in terms of their amount and intensity of physical activity. The Kin Kids program, however, moves beyond increasing physical activity in children. Bill Castro notes broader positive impacts. Yeah, the very interesting part about this is that <clears throat> you would think that if children are going to expend more calories and be working, uh, say, uh, harder and, and perhaps a little bit longer, that they would get necessarily tired or they may not want to participate. But one of the things we're finding in our program is that children, uh, as well as uh, expending more calories depending on our programming, they also have fun, their, their self-confidence is building, their uh, self-concept is, is really positive, and so there's lots of the positive benefits with play that are accompanying this research that we're doing on games and, and calories and uh, increasing physical activity and the amount of physical activity and that.